would say that uh, Children's Bill awesome. has done a good job in outreaching around child abuse issues. Um, however, just like in the day where um, people all knew that substance abuse was a problem, they also knew you couldn't get anybody in anywhere, and so they stopped evaluating it because once I knew it was a problem, I had a responsibility to try and do something about the problem that I saw, right? And so, I mean, kind of as a field, people just didn't evaluate it. Kind of, you know, no eyes, no mouth, no, speak no evil here, no evil kind of thing. Um, I don't think Children's Bureau does a great job in evaluating the depression of the adult caretaker coming in partly out of that same reason, you know, that there just isn't, again, a resource to uh, refer the moderately or mildly uh, depressed parent to, because Medi-Cal wouldn't pay for it. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I, I mean, I do see some assets there, but it's hard for me to think of the assets with the magnitude of the problem in front of us. That, that same issue came up um, in, in SPA 6 when we were doing this. And the, the very same thing you mentioned, that folks may be aware that folks are suffering from depression, but because there's so few resources, it, it's not really assessed, it's not really referred. It's kind of like we just kind of have to, you know, that's the way of life. That's, that's the way it is around here kind of thing. And I think that's what we're looking about, looking at in terms of collaborative care is we're really hoping that we're going to open up some resources to folks. So part of this is the education process. It gives you, you know, the, the folks that are going to participate in this, some tools that are in the, in the um, flash drive and stuff to kind of recognize what's going on. And hopefully we start looking, even though there's not, you know, per se, uh, you know, I know I can't refer somebody over to mental health. They're not going to be seen. They don't have Medi-Cal. You know, that's not going to happen. But we're hopefully developing some other alternatives um, that we can use. We talked earlier today about faith-based issues. We've talked about the CBT that we're going to hopefully be training some folks in that will be an alternative and a resource for folks to use that are part of this process. Um, so we're going to try and kind of develop those resources. But again, just the fact that when someone comes in, you don't just go, oh, well, I guess that because you know we can look at it and hopefully make some kind of referral knowing that we're part of CPIC you know we can send them somewhere um, you know who knows I, I, again we're all dealing with the shortage of resources but just the fact that we're all looking at it I think is going to make it a little better than it has been so that's the only question right yeah it's only one Yes, I had a question. Have, we see a lot of clients coming into our clinics and into our uh, counseling area, um, and uh, we sometimes fi find ourselves looking for uh, clinics or places who can see them for schizophrenia. And so my question was, I know that there are clinics out there that sort of specialize in some areas of mental health, but is there one for or some for schizophrenia? Actually, severe mental illness you're better off than low-level mental health problems. And, and, and adding to that, the way I seem to be finding them in the community is as I go out and visit elders, you know, kind of just checking in on them, I'm finding more and more adult children coming back to live with their elderly parents. And I'm there, well, you know, I think I'm you know, schizophrenic grown children right. and I don't know what else may be going on but perhaps a history of drug abuse uh, and alcoholism whatever but the schizophrenia does right. pop up right yeah. as I say I mean you probably all know more than about that than well, I do. well I would just respond that this project is really about depression but establishing networks like this kind of gives us more resources for all of these things I mean if, if I have contacts in the community that I know I can refer 
mental health issues like depression too. I can probably also know that there are some of those folks who will deal with schizophrenia or bipolar issues or whatever. So it, it you know, again, the whole concept of this collaborative care is to kind of build that network so that we all have more resources. It, there is not going to be more money coming down. There are not going to be new clinics opening. Uh, but there's things that people are doing. Like you say, there may be a clinic over here that you don't know about or that we don't know about that's doing something, and, and perhaps if they were brought into this network, then they might be able to take one or two people. They're certainly not going to take everybody, but you know, little by little we can kind of improve the resources, and that kind of happens kind of as a byproduct of, of this focus on depression. But... I personally look at this because I, I work in the substance abuse field. We also do mental health co-occurring disorders. But I look at this, and it's something that I've been working on for years, is trying to establish as much collaboration as possible because the more of us that work together, the more options that we have. And the stronger voice that we have, if there ever is any more money coming down, that you know we can, as, as a group, kind of approach folks and say, look, these are the statistics. This is what we're dealing with. This is what we need. But, you know, if, if we're doing that individually, it's not as effective as if the community says, hey, we want this. Well, why don't we move on to the next? What could we do better in collaborative care? Think of your own program and your substance abuse counselors. What could they do better? Mm. What, what do you think they'll get out of uh, PTEC? Well, I, yeah, one of the reasons why we look forward to being involved in this, is it, it's actually kind of twofold. One is the just the networking, as I said before, the, the being able to know that there are other resources out there and people offer other things. We also run into a situation periodically where our services are not totally being utilized. Um, you know, for whatever reason, a lot of, sometimes like in the summertime, People don't want to come into treatment because they're too busy going to the beach. Um, and all of a sudden, our census drops way low. When it's raining and cold, oh, yeah, everybody wants to get into treatment. So, <laughs> <laughs> so but by having the, this collaborative and this network, again, you know, and, and hopefully, I don't know if I'm jumping the gun, but at some point we're hoping to have like a computerized program that kind of lets us know who all's involved. And through this network, we can contact each other and we can know, you know, well, I have two slots open over here or, you know, we do this. We've opened a program working with schizophrenia if anybody's interested. So, you know, by connecting all of us together and part of that will be a map. I hope I'm not giving no. away things too soon. Part of that will be a map so you can look on that map and know where services are in your, in your area. So all of this brings us you know, brings that network closer together. I, one of the, something someone talked about earlier today was the fact that networks seem to work really well in specific communities. But what if we hooked, <coughs> excuse me, hooked all those networks up together so that these folks could all talk to each other and have the benefit of expanded resources? I think that would be really effective in terms of, you know, at least increasing resources. I mean, you know, again, I keep going back to the fact that Times are tough, <laughs> you know. It, it isn't going to be like it was for quite a while, I don't think. But but that means we need to get even more innovative and more creative and work together more to look at, you know, what is it that you guys do? What is it that you guys do? What is it that we do that we can kind of share those resources with each other? 